Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Metastic Days. Um, today I'm gonna talk um, very generally about books in first year of med school because I know it's a worry for a lot of medical students. Um, so if you're going to a university in Pakistan, you know it's it's pretty similar the books you you use. Um, but what's different is the amount of subjects you have. Most medical schools only have these main five subjects, while as others may have other supplementary subjects along with these subjects. But the main idea is the books are usually the same. You have a variety of options to choose from. So depending on your needs or whatever, whatever format you like better, you choose certain books for yourself. So we're going to start with the first five, five subjects. Anatomy, histo, embryo. So under anatomy, you also get histo and embryo. So they'll just, they're just known as anatomy. Um, and then you have biochem and physio. Um, supplementary subjects, um, like at universities like Dow, CMH, you know, um, a lot of the private universities also have supplementary subjects like these. Um, so they'll start with you with patho, microbio, behavioral science, community med, pharmacology. Um, and, you know, those are just the following subjects that they have. Well, they don't they don't really put a lot of heavy pressure on these subjects. Um, they just form a foundation for them. So very you're lightly touching them. You're not going very deep into them. Um, most of like pharma and patho are third year third year stuff. These are third year subjects. So let's start with anatomy. So anatomy obviously has lots of memorization. Um, so when I'm talking about anatomy, I'm not talking about histo and embryo with it. I'm talking about just general gross anatomy. Um, so anatomy doesn't change. It's been the same over centuries. So you don't need the newest edition of the books. Even if you have an old edition, it's fine. I have an old edition. Um, so these, this is, this is, the thing with anatomy is that, um, you have to really figure out for yourself what book fits you. Because there will be people that will tell you that KLM is the best that Grey's is the best, that BD is the best. But what you have to know and analyze is to see which one really works best for you. Maybe look through a page, a paragraph, or a concept. Just pick it up, look at it in each book, and see, well, which one which one helps you understand it the best. I guess that's the best way to do it. Um, I didn't really do that. I just straight up, I was like, I'm either going to do Kalem or Grey's because BD, was, BD is pretty much hell um in my opinion so for some people it worked it worked um i felt like kalem was really good because it has a it, it incorporated a lot of clinical aspects to all of the anatomy um i'm kind of learning right now um Grey's is also good i've le read a little through Grey's. um it's great for concept building this book concept building this book details um all of these medical books it takes a little bit of time before you can actually understand what's written in them, because um, you could say they're a little wordy in the sense, like it's it's hard to understand them at first because there's so much detail in just one sentence. So that will take time to get used to, but just a general idea. For foundation, most people use Beattie's Handbook of General Anatomy. Um, I used it, but I don't feel like this book does justice to foundation. It doesn't really build a good concept base. So, um, I would suggest kind of supplementing it with KLM or any of these textbooks. Just because the foundation, I just, I don't believe this book does a really great job at it. Um, it's a very summarized book. Um, and it's also very small. Um, so histology, it's overcomplicated if you try to overcomplicate it. It's easy if, if you just really look at it from the perspective of slides. So histology is really just about knowing tissues. Histology is a study of tissues. So um, for this, you really have to know the microscopic slides. You have to look under the microscope, see each of the slide, look at how they look, um, and practice on that. And for that, um, Shotgun Histology is a great YouTube channel where this um, very experienced individual explains to you um, different types of tissues and what they look like and um, certain patterns and how they stain, how collagen stains and you know he gives you great helpful information but for book um, there's a local book called Like Hussein um, and this histology book is pretty great it doesn't have too many details 
um, and it just gives you a great idea of histology. I would definitely recommend buying this, especially for foundation. But the textbook that you usually get is either Jane Quera or Weeders. I would suggest Weeders because this is a great, great, great textbook with so much detail. Um, and it has so many different slides. So it has slides under um, electron microscope, normal microscope, light micro. Like it's, it just gives you a really good idea of the slide. So I looked at some of the pictures um, in Foundation Module 2 and it just gave me an idea of how things kind of look under the microscope. Because once you start seeing them under the microscope, you'll realize that they all look the exact same and it's really annoying so um it's really about not over complicating it right it's it's an easy subject the next subject we have is embryology um so for embryology uh it's one of those subjects that you really need someone to someone for there for you to explain it to you how it starts from the zygote and it progresses so you you do need that foundation for this subject so i really 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 highly suggest dr najib he's great for all subjects but particularly for embryology you need a good foundation and if you have that foundation you will really be able to understand embryology because embryology is like you start from the zygote and you have to know exactly what leads to what like the yolk sac makes the extra embryonic mesoderm and the extra embryonic mesoderm leads to what and you have to really, 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 really hone in your foundational concepts for the subjects. Um, once you look at the uh, diagrams in the textbook, they might be a little overwhelming because you don't know how they were made. So the way Dr. Najib does it, he starts and he shows you how this embryo develops and he draws these diagrams for you. And I think it really helps you visualize where the starting point is and what eventually leads to what. Um, so for this, KLM is literally your best option. It has so many details. It it covers everything you need to know. Um, and for review book, High Yield Embryology, great review book. Um, I'm going to go more into detail of each of these subjects and the nitty gritty stuff. But just giving a general overview, some people do use Langmans, which is also great. Um, but at my uni, they use KLM and um, I just thought it was better to use KLM just so I could really get a more in-depth understanding of embryology um, because I wanted to build my foundation really well for this subject. Um, but you could also use Langmans. It's also pretty detailed. Um, now we have physio. Physio is all about processes. Once you understand them, it's then from there, it's just like a really smooth road. Um, physiology is the study of body processes, whereas anatomy is the study of the structure. So with anatomy, you just have to memorize the different parts. But with physio, you have to understand the process. How do how our nerve how our nerve signals transmitted? That's what you have to understand. That's physio. Knowing the anatomy of a nerve, that's anatomy. <laughs> Knowing the anatomy of a nerve is anatomy. But anyways, so it's all about processes. It's very easy. It's very interesting too. You're gonna have fun with the subjects. Okay, so don't. Don't take this subject too heavy on yourself. But the huge textbook is called Guyton and Hall. And this textbook is really huge. But you read through this, it will give you all the details you need to know. It's good to read through it, skim through it, have a little bit of an understanding of it. And then BRS Physio is a review book. Also use YouTube visual animations to help you understand how things actually progress. Like if you want to understand protein synthesis, it's better to actually see a 3D visualization of it because it just helps you see it much better. So I just find visual animations to be really helpful in understanding physio. Um, um, biochemistry, everyone hates this subject. I don't know why, but most medical students really hate the subject because they just find it so hard. But biochemistry is all about building concepts and repeating different processes. It's about knowing what enzyme leads to what and what that does and what reactions are involved in it. It's a lot of chemistry, organic chemistry and I know a lot of people find it annoying organic chemistry can be a pain in the butt and I understand that but one one really helpful resource for me was Dr. Sam Turco's lectures this guy explains biochemistry like no one else the way he takes you from the 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 smallest the smallest idea and builds upon those ideas step by step 
he really helps you understand what's useful. And he's also you he's also basically for USMLE under Kaplan. Um, so buy the Kaplan USMLE review book for Biochem. If you want to look into Lipan Ka, yes, it's a helpful book. It will help you understand deep, deep, deep content. But if you're not that into it for foundation, for maybe first year, Kaplan USMLE and follow with Dr. Sam Turka. Also, another review book is by Ahmed. People people will tell you there's a couple of problems with this book. They're right. There are a couple of problems. But it's good for foundation in terms of carbohydrates, lipids, and all those basic concepts. So then we have pathology. Um, I'm just going to say one thing, pathoma. Pathoma is just out there. Everyone knows what pathoma is. But um, in terms of your textbook, Cotron and Robbins basis, not basic. Basic is too big. You won't have the time to read through it. Um, I'm just going to give you a straight up basis if you want to read through it. Um, but some people don't even like basis. So another option is Golgian pathology. Um, this is great for concept building too. It's much more better than basis, a lot of people do say. Um, but I read through basis just because, I don't know, man. I just Whenever I get the time, I try to read through it. But other than that, my main reliance is really Pathoma. Um, this will build your understanding. Remember, Pathoma is a review book. So you you might need to supplement it with this, YouTube videos, you know, just to get a better understanding of the concepts. Um, but I'll talk more detail into each of these subjects. For first year, don't don't put too much pressure on yourself for these. Like these are not heavy, heavy subjects in first year, these are third years. Um again, don't get heavy on yourself for this subject. They'll just give you foundational stuff that you need to know for pharmacology. So lip and cot, a lot of people use Langes. They think lip and cot is too long. So if you don't want to use lip and cot, Langey's review book is right there for you. You can use that. If you don't want to use that, use YouTube videos. Do whatever you can to understand it. Um, pharma is not that difficult. And pharma is, is it's, an, it's a dry subject, a lot of people do say. Um, but it's also a very volatile subject. So in third year, you're going to be memorizing a lot of medications and a lot of drug interactions. And they are very, very difficult. Um, it's a volatile subject with a lot of memorization, and uh, it's one of those subjects that's constantly, constantly, constantly changing. One drug might be approved this year, but the next year it might be out of the market, okay? So it's really good to buy the latest edition of the books um, and to really keep your drug uh, knowledge base updated even after you become a doctor because drugs, they change. The reactions change, we find new research, and we take certain out of the market, we put certain in the market. That's important to understand about pharmacology. Um, microbio comes under patho. It's rather significant for your modular exams, especially a DAO. They do it. They do test this in the modular exams. Um, so especially foundation module. They will tell you microbio is one of the important subjects in there. They do have a couple of questions on there. Um, so they have Levinson's and you could use your slides. I did watch a bit of Dr. Najib because he really helped me understand the, the wall of the bacteria, the bacterial cell wall, and I think it gave me a better understanding of the concept. So I watched Dr. Najib. I don't quite know so many resources because I haven't done too much bio microbio. I want to talk about the subject when I've done enough. So right now I'm just really going off what others advise. Um, once I actually experiment this with myself, I'll tell you guys what works best for me. Um, the other subjects, mostly people will tell you just use slides. Behavioral science, community med, those are not hard subjects. Um, they are rather a little subjective, but they're not hard. There's no really like memorization, hard processes or chemistry like biochem. It's just simply understanding ethical principles, okay? Don't don't be an idiot to a patient. It's as simple as that, right? So um, those subjects can really be learned from the slides. And uh, that's basically it. They'll tell you, they'll also teach you a little bit about research. Um, and that's another one of those subjects they put in there. Um, but it's very simple, 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 simple things. They're not, they're not hard to understand. It's common sense. Don't overcomplicate them. Um, usually people study those subjects a couple of minutes before the exam. They look at the slides and that's how people study for these subjects. There are no textbooks you should be going into. Don't buy books for this subject. For these subjects like community med and whatnot just take them easy slides usually have all the information you need um and uh, that's basically it i just given a, a very very general idea of all these books i'll be going and making a video on each subject after i've actually done some work right now i'm a very i'm a newbie i'm 
I don't really know much myself. Um, I'm trying to figure out my study style myself, and I'm really starting to see, you know, are notes really helpful for me? Are questions more helpful? You know, it's a lot of content you have to cover and remember, um, but I think it's a learning process in med school. You just have to start um, somewhere, and eventually you end up figuring it out, and that's, that's for everyone. Once you've gone into medical school, I think it's all about um, the hustle. As long as you hustle hard, you will make it out becoming a doctor. And I think you should always reassure yourself of that. Remind yourself of that goal you have. Um, and for me, it's really the rewarding experience of being able to help someone or save someone's life. Um, and that's what keeps me pushing. I know it's first year. It's a little, a little, a little, a little bit of a shock when you first get in there. But eventually everyone adapts to it. The other thing is you could also use um, a platform created by Dow students called MedAngle and uh, they have a bunch of helpful practice questions. Grateful for any medical school in Pakistan, anyone attending that. Um, they have a subscription. It does cost money, but I believe the practice tests are free. So just sign up for them. They're free. See their trial. If you like it, they have good practice questions like VCQs, MCQs. VCQs are best choice questions. Also, here in Pakistan, um, they test you in a variety of ways. So one of those ways is Viva, which is like literally an oral test. They'll ask you questions, you ask them orally. Um, and then they have um, a modular exam or like um, just a normal theory test with best choice questions, multiple choice questions. Best choice questions are like, you'll have three options that are right. You just have to choose the best answer. And then they also have other things like opsies. Well, they'll give you a model and you have to point out different parts and you know, they can ask a variety of questions. Remember, in med school, you're not just getting lectures. You have practicals, you have labs, you have histo labs, you have um, biochem labs. So it's important to um, take those labs into consideration because they do, they do help you understand the concepts better. So it's not just like you go there and you just study from books. There are some practical aspects, even in first and second year. So don't be too bored. Eventually, 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 you'll get... You'll get used to the whole system, and hopefully I get used to it too. Um, so until next time, thank you guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.